Hello everyone, welcome back to the tutorials of C++. I am Deepak Kunyal and in this tutorial I am going to discuss about friend functions and friend classes. So first we will discuss about properties of friend function. These functions are defined outside of a class and still they have right to access the non-public members of the class. So one thing that is important here is that if you have public members they can be accessed by anyone outside the class right but if you have members like private or you can say protected they can't be accessed outside in case of protected we can say they can be accessed which we will discuss in the inheritance but private cannot be accessed outside by any function except friend functions right or if you want to access private members you can use some get and set functions but they should be inside class and here in this case we are saying that there are friend functions which can be defined outside although they are not member function of the class but they can access the non-public data members so we will take an analogy to understand this friend function so suppose you are a person one and have a friend one right so there might be many things which are your personal things we can say that these are private things and then there are some public things like your name and so on these can be accessed by anyone right but if you have some private members maybe your bank account details or your passwords they cannot be accessed by anyone there might be a possibility that you have made a friend who can access these private things right this thing works in real life right so similarly in c++ we have a thing called friend functions and this friend function can access these private variables or we can say private functions also so what can be declared as friend so it could be stand alone functions if you have some free functions like main functions or we can say global functions they can be friend of a class or we can declare entire class as friend of another class so that means if there is anything inside this class it can access data members or we can say non-public data members or non-public member functions of that class or you can allow some member functions of a class to be a friend of another class that means if you have a class a and it has some functions like f1 f2 f3 so you have multiple options either you can declare this whole class as friend so in that case all the functions will be friend and they can access the non-public data members or what you can do you can make one of the or some of the member functions as friend of the another class right so i hope you got the idea so now the question is how can you declare a function as friend of a class so what you can do you can precede the function prototype in the class definition with keyword friend so example if you want to make a function as friend of another class so what you have to do you have to write friend keyword in front of that and function is same as you uh, write in some other programs so you have to write wide or any other data type you want to use and suppose function name is set x so it will be like that and then there will be some arguments so that depend on the way you are defining that friend function in our case we are taking first parameter as class name as a reference and then second argument as integer second thing if you want to declare all member functions of a class class 2 as friend of class 1 so what you have to do you have to write it like this friend then you have to write class class 2 and where you are writing this thing you are writing this thing inside class 1 and in this way you are saying that class 2 is friend of class 1 that means this class 2 will now be able to access non-public data members 
or public data members or member functions of class 1 so you have to keep note of few things the first thing is even though prototypes for friend function appear in the class definition but friend function are not member function so this thing need to be kept in mind that these functions are not member function second thing the access specifier like private protected and public these things does not matter for the friend function or any class we are declaring as a friend right so any friend declaration doesn't care for these things so you can place these declaration like these anywhere in the class you can put it inside private or protected or public so i will show some examples so that it's easier for you to understand these things after that see some properties of friend functions so this is very important thing to understand the statement is friendship is granted not taken so what does that mean it means for class b to be a friend of a so suppose b wants to be a friend of a then class a must explicitly declare that class b is friend of a are you getting me so let us suppose you have a definition of class a if you want to say that class b is friend of class a then you have to explicitly mention this thing inside class a and you have to use this keyword here you have seen it above only like this so you have to write friend in front of this and then you can say that now b can access public or non public members of class a so this thing is granted right you have to explicitly tell that class b is friend of class a you can't assume the things here second thing friendship is neither symmetric nor transitive so what does that thing mean suppose a is friend of b and b is friend of c so understand this statement very carefully because this is very important and you can be asked this thing in interview somewhere so please keep this thing in mind suppose a is friend of b and b is friend of c right so we can write is friend here is friend here so this does not mean that b is also friend of a so what is it about it is about neither symmetric thing so this is not symmetric what is symmetric if a implies b then b implies a so if a is friend of b we can't say that b is also friend of a similarly so just cut this thing out here because we don't mean this right similarly b is friend of c so that does not mean that c is friend of b and this also means by this principle symmetric thing so this is also not true we can declare this thing but if a is friend of b we can't say that b is friend of a and similarly we can't say that c is friend of b and one more thing that is left here about transitivity so we said that a is friend of b and b is friend of c so we can't say that a is friend of c this will not be true so you can't read just these statements and imply this right or uh, neither this thing is correct c is friend of a so both of these statements cannot be implied from this right so you have to keep all these things in mind now coming to few more things okay so some people in the oop community feel that friendship corrupts information hiding and weakens the value of object oriented design approach so why they feel so because friend function or friend classes are able to access 
private data members or non public data members so we have used information hiding to hide the information but on the another side friendship is corrupting that or weakening that thing right so some people in the oop community feel that way but some others feel that responsible use of friend function is possible and should be done for enhancing performance so why we generally use this friendship for enhancing performance and how this does so how it enhances performance in next few lecture we will read a topic that is overloading operators and then we'll see that thing in detail how it is enhancing performance so now i will do one thing i will show you all these things in a practical way so let's go to the terminal first here you can see some a new terminal with some new name because my system has crashed so i have arranged it from my brother and now programming on this so what i will do i will create a new file here with name friend dot cpp and then i have opened this file in sublime so first include header file then use namespace std so first thing to understand is what i am going to do here first put things in comment and then tell you what actually i am going to do here define a class count with a variable or data member x there will be a friend function that will modify the value so i am going to do it for you so let's start class count then we have to put semicolon at the end so always keep this thing in mind so here i am going to declare a function as friend and that is set x function which we have discussed and then i will write class name and then m percent here and why i am writing m percent that is for taking references input and now i have declared prototype here after that i will create a constructor and in the constructor i will take one value as input that is x and then i can write this x equal to x and this way i will assign the value in this after this i am creating a function print and that is just printing this value x equal to x and then e and l now i have to declare a variable int x and here is the definition of class you can define a main function here and what that main function is going to do i want to create one object of count class that is counter then i want to print the value of x at the moment after that i want to call set x function which you can see here and in that function i want to pass this object because this is not member function that's why we need to pass this object and now if you see this you can understand the reason why i have passed the class here right so this is because i want to pass the object from this main function and then pass some value maybe 10 so this way i want to change this value x and after that you can print the value again clear but for performing all these things you need to define function also and what is that function set x and inside it it should take one object as parameter and then one value as parameter so i hope you understand this thing and then what it need to do it need to assign this value to the variable x and this is how it is written so here we have a class till here then there is a non member function and from here we are calling this function to change the value of x clear so here is the prototype and we have written friend here so we need to keep this thing in mind because it is friend so this is able to change the value okay so there is one thing that we need to take care of here and here we have a object creation here but we have this parameterized thing so what we can do we can assign default value here and that will be x equal to 0 now i will go to the terminal 
now try to compile friend.cpp and this has been compiled successfully now try to run this program and you can see x is 0 first and then x equal to 10 so what has happened here when we created this object it was 0 in the beginning after that when we called this function set x it changed value of x so try removing this friend thing from here and then try to compile and run this program so i will compile this again now you can see here x is private member of count that means now we will not be able to modify the value of x using set x just because that function is not member function so it will not be able to change the value of any non-public data member of the class right okay so do one thing now we will try to declare another class we can write its name as change x so what i will do now i will create a function public function so which can be inside this and i don't have any members here and i am not making this set x as friend function what i will do i will declare this change x class as friend of count so what i have to do create an object ch and then try to call member function from here we are calling set x so this set x should be called on ch now we'll see if values are changed or not so compile this program again and program is compiled successfully run this program and here you see x is 0 and then x is 10 and how is that possible we have made this class change x as friend of class count so this is how we need to declare change x as friend of count if you remove this friend from here then again we will face some problem so just try to comment this thing out now this change x is not friend of count so whenever we will try to compile this program this will give us an error because set x cannot change the value of this compile this program and here is the error error x is a private member of count so whenever you want to make some changes in these kind of variables which are non-public you have to create some member functions like get and set so i hope this concept is clear to you we'll learn more about this friend function or how to use this function in coming lectures you can also overload friend function but each of them should explicitly be declared in the class definition as a friend of the class so what does it mean if you want to overload this set x function with some different arguments you have to create multiple set x function with different arguments and then declare each of them as friend of this class or you can declare this whole class as friend of count class right so whatever feels the right you can take that step so i think this information or this lecture is enough for you so if you have any query or any doubt regarding any of the concept that we discussed in this lecture you can always write uh, there in the comments and i will try to respond back so see in the next video with some new concept till then thank you so much